Do you know how we can calculate square root of i? A very interesting question. We'll have a complete discussion on finding its solution with the help of this video. I'm Anil Kumar from Global Math Institute. Welcome to my website and the YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss what is square root of i? Very interesting question seen in test papers and sometimes you may find it difficult to answer. So how do we figure out? Well, square root of i should be a complex number. So let us assume that square root of i is equal to a plus bi, where a is the real part and b is a coefficient of imaginary power. Now, how do we get the values of a and b? Simple concept. We can square both sides and then get the solution. Perfect. So, that is what we are going to do. You can also do same and then look into my solution, right? So, we are going to square both sides. Is that clear to you? Once you square, after that, relate the real parts and the imaginary parts to get the value of A and B. I hope that helps. Perfect. So you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin. So here is square root of A plus BI. So when I square both sides, what do I get? So what I'm doing here is just squaring both sides, correct? Remember, when you square, you do incorporate a error. So this error should be checked. So at present, well, squaring will give me a square plus 2abi plus bi whole square. So we get i the imaginary real part, a square plus 2 abi, that's the imaginary part, and the square will be b square, i square is minus 1, so I'm writing minus 1 here. So let's rearrange, so we get a square minus b square, right, and the imaginary part, 2 abi, you see that. So, on the right-hand side, we have a square minus b square plus 2 abi. On the left-hand side, we have only the imaginary part i. So, that really means that a square minus b square should be equal to 0 or a square should be equal to b. Now, I mean b square, right? So, that is possible if a is equal to plus or minus b, right? So we get one result from here, and that is a equals to plus or minus b, right? Both values of b can work. Perfect. So we get one solution, part solution, I should say, right? The next part which we are looking into is the imaginary parts. 2 a, b, i should be equal to i, right? So let's rewrite that. So we have 2 AB i equals to i or 2 AB equals to 1, right? So that means from here we can say A is equal to 1 over 2B. So we have A equals to 1 over 2B from this equation. And earlier, we have a equals to minus b. Now, these two equations should help us find a solution, correct? So, two equations, two unknowns. So, what we can do? We can now imagine that let's take a equals to 1 over 2b and then see how it works out. So, we are having two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And from these two equations, we are quoting what A is, which is equal to 1 over 2B and is also equal to plus or minus B. 
So let's take go with the plus one first. Okay. So that really means that half is equal to b square, or basically, if we square it, square rooting gives us plus minus square root of half. So that becomes the value of b. So the value of b could be plus or minus square root of 2. Correct? Now you know a is equal to plus or minus b value and therefore we have both the values. Correct? So now we can write down our solution. So in fact, we get two solutions for this particular question. The very first one is a equals to b equals to 1 over square root 2. That is when we take a positive value. The second one is a equals to b equals to minus 1 over square root 2, right? And therefore, we have two solutions. One solution, a plus bi, will be half, I mean square root 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 2 i, and the other will be minus 1 over square root 2 minus 1 over square root 2 i. Do you see that? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. So I hope the solution is absolutely ready. Now, what you can do is have a good look as I've typed out the whole solution for you. So basically, we began with square root i equals to a plus b i squared both the sides and then compare the imaginary and the real parts. So once you compare the real parts, you get that a is equal to plus minus b and then when you compare the imaginary parts, you get b equals to half of a, right? Now equating the two, we get two different solutions which are these. So that becomes the solution for this particular question. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and here is another question for you. How about square root of minus i, right? Apply the same strategy and get the solution for square root of minus i. Here is the solution for the same. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thank you and have a great day.